Hi, my name is Brett, and I'm here to show you how to customize your toolbar in under three minutes. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously launch Active Inspire. I'm going to go ahead and pull my toolbar over here a little bit so you can see what we're looking at. This is the toolbar. This is the default look and feel of the toolbar in Active Inspire. To customize it, you can click on the main menu here on the top left of the toolbar. Select File, and then Settings. So from here, we'll focus on two different tabs today, the Layout tab and the Commands tab. Let's go ahead and click on the Layout tab. So from the Layout tab, you can see things that we can customize, like the icon size, the location of the toolbox, so I can put it on the left if I'm left-handed, or on the top or the bottom if I like. I can also change the amount of colors that are on my toolbar. So this is a really great section to start out with when you customize your toolbar. The second thing is obviously your tools. So just like in the real world, there are different tools that we need for the job, different jobs, right? Um, this is where we go and we can see all the tools that are available to us and we can maybe add them. So one thing we might want to add is maybe dual user. So to add dual user to my toolbar, because I don't have it there yet, I can select dual user and then I can simply hit add. And now you can see that my dual user is actually right underneath my single user pen tool in my toolbar. If for whatever reason I wanted to move it up or down, I can simply hit select it and hit these two buttons, move up, move down. It's pretty pretty simple. If I want to then move it back later on, if I don't want it, if I don't want another tool, I can select it and hit remove and now it's gone from my toolbar. Now what you can do is you can customize several different toolbars to your liking, depending on what you want to use them for and you can save them and, and name them as different things. These are the defaults that come with Active Inspire. And to save them and to rewrite them, you can select these buttons up here. For more tutorials and tips on the Active Classroom, please subscribe or check out the Empower Learning channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.